Today we're just going to combine the information that we've already studied. So we're going to take a look at equations in point form, uh, sorry, point slope form and general form. So the equation of a linear function in slope intercept form can be found by the identifying the slope and the y intercept of a line and then writing it in the very familiar equation y is equal to mx plus b. So we're going to write these equations in slope-intercept form. And since I know I'm going to write them in slope-intercept form, I'm just going to write y is equal to mx plus b. Now you're responsible for being able to identify the slope-intercept form. So they are so kind to us in A that they give us the slope and the y-intercept. So here m is equal to negative 4, b is equal to 7. So a line that has a slope of negative 4 and a y-intercept of 7 will have the equation y is equal to negative 4x plus 7. Now for b. I suppose if we are going to use the slope-intercept method, we should get the slope, we get, should get the intercept. Well, the intercept is rather easy to see. It's right there. And when we say the intercept, we're talking about the y-intercept, which is 3. Now, what I have done is put two points on my graph just to get a gauge of the slope. And what I'm able to see, the slope is delta y over delta x, or rise over run. And the slope here looks like it's the y changes by 1, the run changes by 3. Slope is 1 third. So the equation of the slope interest form is y is equal to 1 third x plus 3. Incidentally, you may also see it written as y is equal to x over 3 plus 3. However, it is more common that you'll see y is equal to 1 third x plus 3. Next example. I know that I'm going to use the y-intercept form, or slope-intercept form. And by the way, this is the most common, probably the most useful. What we're able to see is that the y-intercept, b, is equal to 2. Now I need to get a gauge of what the slope is. So make a little triangle here. Probably can't see it that well, but I find slope. I like the change of y over the change of x. So the slope here, it looks like my y changed by negative 3, my x changed by 2. So the slope is negative 3 over 2. The equation of my line is y is equal to negative 3 over 2x plus 2. Now I'm sure this is mostly review to you. Let's go on to something a little bit different. The equation of a linear function in point-slope form. So what do we need for a point-slope form? We need the point and we need the slope. I said the point, I really meant a point. You just need a point along the line and plug it in. It is found by identifying the slope and the coordinates of any point on the line. And then we write the equation, y is equal to, sorry, then we write the equation in the form of y minus y1 is equal to m, open brackets, x minus x1. So here, my slope is equal to negative 4. <coughs> my point, you can call it x1, y1. Is going to be point 23. If I'm choosing to write this in point slope form, it's probably best that I write it out. the unfilled in form. And then now, all I have to do is plug in the values. 
what we have to be careful, though, of is the way this form is written in the point. So here, I'm just going to plug in y is equal to, what would I notice is y1 is 3. y is equal to minus 3. m is minus 4. And then we do x minus. Now what I notice is x1 is 2. So in case you're wondering, that's where I get the 2 and 3 from. So that's point slope form. That's all there is. All right. Line has slope of 3. Goes through point negative 4, 5. Let's just do this. So m is equal to 3. This is my point. So I'm just going to write point negative 4, 5. So if I have y minus y1 is equal to m x minus x1, I'm just going to plug in my value. So y is equal, or minus, and I take a look at my y value. My y value is 5, so y minus 5 is equal to my slope. My slope is 3, x minus, and I take a look at my x value here. The x value is negative 4. So I just simply type in, or write in negative 4. And this would simplify into y minus 5 is equal to 3, open brackets, x. Now, if we notice, subtract negative 4 actually becomes plus 4. We'll do one more example, and that would be d. So, I believe I have to write this in slope point form. Now, please, in the margin, write down point slope form is good whenever you have the slope and any point on the graph. You don't need your y-intercept. So as I go through here, I'm just going to simply start to highlight my slope there. Oh, yeah, there's my slope. My point, there's the x value, will come from that. My y value will come from here. y minus negative 8 is equal to negative 5 fourths x minus negative 1. So I just plugged in the values. Didn't do any thinking. We're just going to restate y sub I'm going to restate this part y subtract negative 8 that'd be y plus 8 is equal to notice how I just leave this as negative 5 fourths it's going to communicate the idea that the slope is negative now I'm going to subtract negative 1 and what I have here is x plus 1 so the equation is y plus 8 is equal to negative 5 over 4 x plus 1. Now, notice how my slope was negative. It remained the way it was. But my x value, pardon me, that was a huge miss on my half. The x value was negative 1, but it appears in the equation as x plus 1. Same with the y value. It's negative 8, but it appears as y plus 8.